Hello, I'm Les Sherlock and I'm going to be looking here at formatting lyrics in Sibelius using keyboard shortcuts which are really quite quick and easy once you remember them. This is some music I wrote uh, quite a few years ago. The music is mine based on the very well-known hymn When I Survey the Wondrous Cross and I wrote it for a musical I wrote uh, a very long time ago. Um, and so I've uh, got this all ready to show you how to put the lyrics in first of all. Uh, now you can see on this top line here that there are actually two voices. Uh, let me click on that one. I hope you can see that that is now in blue where if I click on the bottom one that is in green. That's because you can put up to four voices on a single stave and I'm using two here. The blue is for the soprano voice and the green is for the alto voice. Now I want to put the lyrics in on the soprano voice. Um, the problem I've got over here though, the very first note, if I click on that, that's showing the second voice green because both the soprano and the alto are singing the same note. <laughs> so I need to separate those really so that we can see what how it's all working now the way we do that is by pressing alt and w and then that brings down the menu for the different windows you can have now i want the properties window you don't need to press alt again just press p and on the right here that is now the properties menu and with the mouse i want to click down on the general Right, now this is showing the position of uh, the, X is the left and right position, uh, horizontal, Y is the vertical position, up and down. Now what I want to do is to move this green note to the right. Now normally Sibelius won't let you do that, but as I've got that highlighted, if I just click in that box there and put 1.3, you can see now it's moved to the right and now because it's moved to the right I can now click on the other note and that is the soprano and that is where I want to put the lyrics. So um, you can put up to five different lines of lyrics in, I want to put in four. So I'm going to start with the first row of lyrics and in order to do that I put in Control and L and now you can see the cursor flashing underneath that note and this is the first line so I put one dot now if I write in the word immediately it's going to be too close to that one but if I press the space bar that tells Sibelius I'm going to go on to the next note which I don't want to do however if you hold control down and then the space bar that will then give you the space there it is and I, I did it twice. <laughs> right, so now I can put in the first word, when. And I want to go on to the next note, press the space bar, when I... Now survey goes across two notes, so I'll put in the first syllable, sir, and then press the dash, and that takes me on to the next note, then the rest of the word, survey. The. Now you can see that when I started that it actually brought up the next bar from below where I've got all the words in. I've just deleted the words from the first two bars to demonstrate it. And so that's there. Now I'll press the escape key to get away from what I'm doing. And you can see now that that first line is in a different position to how it is on the next bar there. Now it's very easy to straighten that up. I can click on any of those words with the mouse. Let's click on the. Then hold control, shift, and then A. And that will select the whole line. And then while it's selected, I can press control, shift, and R. And that's now straightened them all up. And now you can see they're really too close to the notes above. Um, I can bring them down with the cursor. Just keep pressing the cursor to do it slowly until I've got it where I want it. So that's, that, that will do about there. And we can press escape. Now, if you've just pressed control 
and A without the shift, then you select everything. You can see the whole thing is selected there, which we don't want um, for the moment. If you want to do a global change, then obviously you can, or if you want to delete everything. So I'll press escape. And so we've got the first line in there now. Now I want to put in the second verse. Um, now this time, Control, Alt and L. And now you can see the cursor flashing there, ready for me to put in the second verse. So two, one, control and spacebar, uh, forbid it, Lord. For, put a dash, bid it, Lord, that. Escape. Now, once again, that's in the wrong position. So just click on one part. Control shift a to select the whole thing and now you can see that that part there that I brought up is in green and that's because when I did this originally I clicked on that first note and it selected the alto line and so it called it the alto part it doesn't matter because it will all print out the same uh, but I need to get them lined up so control shift and R and then use the cursor to bring them down to the right position so that's there so now I want to write verse 3 so click on the note again this time I can't do it with a single letter press so what I have to do is go alt and C which brings down the create menu and then I don't need to press Alt again once I've got one of these menus down, just the letter itself. And each of these words has a letter underlined. And if you click on that letter, it will take you to that menu. I want text. So I press X. That brings me to this one. I've still not got to the lyrics yet. So I need to go to other staff text. That only shows you the first two lines of lyrics. So I press O for other. And now that's brought me to this one where you can see there are lyrics. If I press L, that brings me to the section where the lyrics are. With the cursor, go down to verse 3 that I want and press enter. And now the cursor is flashing, ready for me to put it in. So 3 dot, control, space bar, C from his hands, his. And now that's brought me down to the next line because uh, because the text has made the bar, bar a little bit wider so it's now shunted me onto the next line. But that is useful. Let me press escape to get out of that because I can show you here these words are a little bit close. Now if I just click on anywhere in the middle of the bar line and then move it to the right, nothing happens at first but then it will suddenly jump. There it comes and it moves away and now I can slide it backwards and forwards so I can get those words spaced correctly. Sometimes doing that it will shunt the end bar onto the next line. Um, it depends on how important that is. You can just bring the bar line back until it comes back up if it does. Right, let me go back to where we were and uh, we can see now that um, <clears throat> that third line I've put in is too close to the, the second one, but also we're going over this other stave. Very simple, just click on the middle of this, any blank area of the stave with the mouse and then you can just drag it down. So that's very easy to do. Then click on that word, Control Shift A to select the whole line and then with the cursor bring it down. Now you can see I want to put in a fourth verse and there's not enough room so click on that and, and drag the stave down a bit further. Right, click on the first note and I want create, that's uh, Alt C, create, X for text, O for other and L for lyrics and down to verse 4, enter. 4 dot Control and space bar to put the space, then were, space, the, space, whole, space, realm, space, of, whoops, of, space, 
and we, we've got that in there so let's escape and come back up to there now there's one other thing I can show you on this uh, let me just bring that line down so control shift all and then slide it all down right now you can see hole and realm are too close there so once again click on that bar line move it there we go and then that separated it to put in a, a decent space um, now if as I did you, you find that you've made a spelling mistake or something just double click on the word and you can see the cursor flashing at the end of it now you can move the cursor to wherever you want um, and use the delete key to delete what you don't want and you can keep on deleting in fact it'll take you back to other words and go until you've if you made a mistake further back and so let me type it all in again the whole realm of right so that has uh, pretty well um, sorted out the lyrics very quickly and you can type them in move things around to make them fit uh, let me just show you one more thing you can see these words I've got up here that that's got my name um, now if I double click on that now if I press Control and A to select all so that's now selected the whole thing now if I want to I can make it bold so Control B um, so escape from that you can see now it's in bold let me click away from it so you can see it right uh, and select it all again Control A to select all now press a Control and I and that's turned it into italic so there are all sorts of very quick and easy ways of changing the text just from the keyboard and once you get to know the different uh, codes that you need it is very quick and easy to do now as I've been working on this song I thought uh, you might perhaps be interested to know what it sounds like and so when this is finished I'm putting on the song as it was performed in the musical when we did it uh, back in 1986 um, and you'll be able to see it performed in uh, re real time and see what it was. Okay, I hope you found that helpful.